Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to make a, uh, <coughs> a whole bunch of really cool little wallpapers kind of like this in GIMP. Uh, first, I'm going to make me a new file. I'm going to make it my screen resolution, which is 920 by 1080. Or 1920 by 1080. You can make it wherever your screen resolution is. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to paint the background black. After that, I'm going to go to filters. Render, fractal, ex fractal explorer, and go over to fractals and choose whichever one you want. Um, let's see which one do I want. This one looks nice. Okay, I'm gonna go to colors, and you can change anything in this. Um, let's see, I can turn the red down, turn the green down, or up, blue down. Let's see, I'm gonna try to. change cosine to sine in red, green, and blue, or you can invert them to make even more colors. You can even set your own gradient for the image, just like this. Go abstract. Um, browns, blue, green, blinds. You can make a whole bunch of different styles like this. This actually looks kind of cool. It's not going to work with what I'm wanting to do. Um, let's see. The ones with transparencies in them won't work. Uh, okay, some of them will, I guess. Um, let's see. This one looks nice. It looks like a fireball like that. I'm going to go with that one. Go to close. You can change the parameters too to move it around. Change the size of your image. I'm going to keep mine at zero. No. Hold on. Move it over. Somewhere in the middle. Whoops. Controls are a little bit too touchy for me. That works. Change how high it is. Like point. Top to bottom. Alliterations, these are just the lighting, the color, and everything. Or XYZ, that's just. Or, I mean, CX and CY, that's just. Moving it around too. Let's see. That looks pretty. change the styles of them too. I want to keep it on Man of War. Redraw and then OK and then it's going to render it. And this is your final image. You can do other things. Um, there's another style that you can do. I'm going to change, I'm going to make a new document once again. Same size, black, filters, Render, Let's see, nature, flame. This is the kind that you see on YouTube a lot because it's so generic and easy to do. Um, the other one's one too, but I don't see that one very often. Um, you can go to edit, 
and you can choose different styles. You can change the speed to make it different sizes or n different, you know, uh, styles of the shapes. I guess you can randomize, or you can change the variation like this. Change it to power. I like power. Or bring the brightness up, contrast down a little bit. You can change the gamma, which just it's like a spread thing. It spreads out the image. Sample density, density, spatial oversamples. Um, there's a way to change the size too, but sometimes this changes the size if you change the speed. Um, randomize, randomize, randomize. This works. Okay. Render. The, the flames take a little bit longer to, rem to render than the Fractal Explorer does, but once you're done with this, you can change gradients and all that stuff with this. Nice little designs. Um, I'm going to pause this until the flame's done being rendered. Okay, now that this is done, you can also overlay it with gradients. Um, like this, make a new... Make a new layer like this, make it transparent. Take a gradient, any kind that you want. I'm probably going to take deep sea, because it was right there. Draw it down, hold control to make a straight. And then go to the mode up here, change it from normal to overlay. And then you can change the colors. You can also move it around to get different parts of it that depending on how you want it or you can even say take another image like this the one I just made copy it move it over here and do the same thing with it go overlay and you can colorize your flames anyway thank you for watching uh, I'll be coming out with more videos. If you guys have any more ideas, please leave comments in the description below or in the comment section below. Check the description for my website if you guys want to play some awesome free games. There's a good place to do it. Uh, thank you for watching. Talk to you guys later. Bye.